I can't tell you how proud, just how really proud. I'm looking at Lee, she's making It's how proud I am of you guys because uh, y'all have been incredible with what you've been able to do. And, um, I'm just uh, amazed at what God's done in 15 years and I just can't imagine the next 15 years. It's going to be incredible. Really good. So, yeah. Incredible 15 years. I think it's only the beginning. Happy 15th birthday, Kids to Love. Excited to be a part of where we've come from and really excited to be a part of the journey going forward. You know, I love the description of it being a journey. You know, when you think about an organization that began with a vision, you know, sweat equity through a garage, but with a belief that foster kids are just like anybody else. I feel like the teenagers in foster care uh, really don't have the voice that they should. Coming back here 10 years from now, I think will be very emotional. And if I could just speak to the girls that will be here in 10 years, I would just tell them it it's an amazing opportunity that this house is here and you're able to be here and take advantage of the things that are given to you. And it's just so amazing. Like there's no words to really describe it and the opportunities that are given. But understand that getting to this point has not been easy. <laughs> We do pour our hearts and souls into the students every single day. I would also like to thank Ms. Dorothy and Ms. Lee for stepping up and being a mother to me when I needed it. So I just want you to know um, you're setting tonight in just a, a big full circle moment for our organization and especially for this. Show them the money, smile, come on. Show them the money! To me, I just think it really is a full circle of everything our organization does as we celebrate 15 years of service this year and 250,000 kids that we've been able to make a direct impact on, and we do it one at a time. But when you now see this sort of the true transformation of this organization, it's a holistic idea of not only do we want to be able to provide for those discrete needs of kids, but we also want to invest in their future to make sure that they have the ability to live a remarkable life. And that's why the scholarship program is so important. In 15 years, Kids to Love has awarded more than 700 scholarships. That's our community. That's our donors. Investing $700,000 back into our kids to help break that cycle of poverty, to give them a chance at independence, success, and to leave their legacy. And when we see right now what's going on with KTEC for young people to get amazing skills that are marketable to be able to live good lives. This student has been selected for the upcoming class of this prestigious program. Lexandra Lutz will begin work this summer with Toyota Motor Manufacturing Alabama and will attend Calhoun Community College beginning in August. Congratulations, Lexi. Welcome to the Toyota family. Let's go places. And then I would come out here and I would spend time with the girls and I grew a bond with all of them and I really loved them and I decided that this would be the best placement for me. Um, it really is a family out here and I can't say anything. It's everything I've always wanted as a child. Okay, so if you're not crying now, you have ice in your bones. I'm so proud of this young lady and she not only is a a great addition to our family, who is totally what I see you as, but she's an incredible mentor to other girls here at the farm. No one comes into foster care because they want to. They come into foster care because it's the safest place for them to be. And every one of our girls come from places of trauma. And uh, it, their, their story to share, not my story to share. What, how is this changing your career? So Lexi, let's start with you. Back in 2015, um, I went into foster care. Um, since then, my goal has been to break every statistic placed on a foster child. I don't think 
most people know that you know foster children don't have things when they go from one house to the other. Um, it's just something that people don't think about unless it's affected them directly. Growing up in foster care, I've been through multiple families, uh, and at an early age, especially at you know right at graduation, I was introduced to this family at Kids to Love, and I thought it would just be something like that I've been through, something temporary, but. You know, Lee has invested in me, and uh, I mean, lo and behold, I've been in this family. Sacred Huff! This is just one tool, so I just hope for the opportunity to actually be able to use them now, but use them effectively so that I'm not just um, talking about change, but actually doing it and seeing the result of that change and piece by piece making our society better in a more equitable place for everyone to live in. What I'm excited about is that when I stand here 15 years from now, is to be able to see what Kids to Love is doing throughout the state. And so I really feel like that, that we are simply at that launching point. Yeah, things just, you know, that's, that's when you feel good about what you're doing, when you know there's a purpose behind it. And it's, it's for a greater purpose. That's what it's, I mean, it's, that's what it's supposed to be like. You know, nobody said it was going to be easy. <laughs> no. There's going to be trials. There's going to yeah. be hard situations. But but y'all have y'all have really overcome everything that's been thrown at you. So I'm just very proud of what y'all have done. Happy 15th birthday, Kiss the Love. I'm so proud of you guys.